Hello everybody, this is part 4 of how to code for your girl type fan game. If you haven't watched the other ones, make sure to go and watch those because they will help you with the concepts that we learn in this tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be mainly focused on um, void update and debug logs because debug logs are used for debugging code and testing things and void update is an important thing to learn for our future videos. So we're going to start by creating a C -sharp script and I'm going to name it debug log um, update. I'm just going to name it debug log tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. I, sp I spelled tutorial wrong. Um, I'm going to try not to spell things wrong this tutorial, but um, I kind of do that a lot so because I type fast. Um, but we're going to, once this is done compiling, we're going to open up the script. Now, um, last time we kept last time we kept void start. This time we're gonna keep void update. So we're gonna delete void start from this, and it says update is called once per frame. That means every single frame it'll do something. If your game is runs at 70 FPS, it's gonna call something 70 times per second because it's 70 frames per second. So it'll do something 70 times per second. This can lag your game, so I'm gonna show you some future like optimizations for void update. Um, and some future tutorials um, but right now we're just gonna do this um, so you can I'm gonna start by typing public string like we always do or sometimes do um, I'm gonna name it debug text what to say I don't really know but make sure to put your period and then we just type debug dot log that's not supposed to happen. Debug dialog. Um, debug text what to say in there. If you just want a normal one without the variable or up here, then you can just put debug dot log, and then you can put in quotation marks whatever you want to put. But um, just to get more advanced, I'm going to put it in a string because it'll help you learn more, I guess. Now, if we put, I'm going to put this on an empty game object and we're going to see in the console over and over and over again, it should say um, a debug log. So I'm going to create an empty game object debug. Um, we're going to add the debug log tutorial script. What to say? I'm going to put, hello, this is a test. Test. Oh my gosh. Test. Um, and now if we start the game, it will spam in our console where the debug logs are. Um, it'll spam, hello, this is a test. You'll see down here. Once it works. Where is it? Oh yeah, see? It's spamming every second. If I turn on turn off collapse, you can see it's spamming every single second. And if I t change this to say D, 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 it will change the spam thing. So that's how you do um, a normal one. So well, we're going to go back to the script and we're just going to type, what if I want to put like a warning or an error? We're going to type debug dot log warning like that and it'll auto do it for you. Um, we don't need this. But now if we, you need to put the money sign in front of it, but we can do that's going to be our warning and then we can put debug dot log error and it'll do like the exact same thing except with errors so this will be error and this will be warning okay and this will be our normal text and I'm actually going to have a little challenge at the end of this video, so make sure to stay along for that. <coughs> but yeah, once we start the game now, it will have, hello, this is test, warning, and an error. So, should be able to see that in a second. As you can see, it says warning, hello, this is a test, error, and yeah. So that's how you use a debug logs in your Girl Type Fan game. Now we are going to have a we're gonna have a little challenge. Um, so in the last tutorials, we learned how to make something happen when you press um, when you press an object. 
So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to do that, and if you can't do that, um, skip ahead. Okay, so to do this, you just wanna type on trigger, enter, collider other. You might know how to do it now. If you do, do it. Um, but if you don't, then we're just gonna put debug dot log, and then put debug what to say like that, and then period. And then once you collide with the object, it will um put your thing. Deep, I spelled debug wrong. <laughs> I spelled debug wrong. One second. Wait, we should be good now. Okay, now, once this compiles, we're gonna put this on a cube actually, so that we can do it. So I'm gonna put this on a cube with this trigger on, and then I'm gonna bring it over here and attach the script to it. And then I'm gonna make it say, touched, and object, like that. So now, if I start the game and go touch this um, cube, it will put a debug log. Bring our player here. We can see that once we touch something, you can see in the console it says touch an object. If I touch it over and over again, it just says touch an object, touch an object. See? Right there. And you can do the same things with the warnings. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but you guys can probably figure it out if you tried. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.